Okay, last time we went in that way around the water station and now we will go using our regular route. Hopefully we will not encounter any manure being distributed uh, because la last time when I stopped recording you know there was a farmer or two farmers you know spraying around the liquid stuff oh yeah the natural stuff and yeah when you have a dog that likes to roll in the nasty stuff you need to be careful oh the bees the beehive truck is already outside yeah yesterday all when we were on our noon walk i actually saw the first bee of the year I don't see any doggo shortcut so yeah Lisa um, one time when we walked around the Cossese pond, I don't know what she found. I believe it was a dead frog or something like that. And she rolled on that. Oh, and that was uh, some smelling. I don't know. I never smelled anything so foul. foul in my life before and that time you know um, we went in the back of the house um, where there is water water pipe you know I sprayed her cleaned her with the soap regular soap not you know dog shampoo and it didn't nothing then we went up no, I went up myself and got shampoo, her dog shampoo, tried with that, no effect, she still smelled very bad. Then I said, okay, because it was already getting dark, I said, okay, let's go up and I will try to once more with another dog shampoo and you know couple of times no still smells we could still smell her uh, on her so then I re then I remembered uh, yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm mm not going to put it in the tle. Pit pit. So they will be go. So they are going to the end of the field, around this field that is already planted, and then walk around that other unplanted field still unplanted so uh, and then I remembered if you have um, some such a smelly situation that you should use um, tomato so fortunately we all always have tomato not the juice but um, puree oh yeah 
quite a lot of bees outside. Hard workers. Yeah, oh yeah. Lisa is smelling something. Hopefully nothing manure related or dead animals related. So I then um, I used, you know, the whole. I don't know. It was half of liter or whole liter. I cannot remember. I think that I used, uh, yeah, a one liter of the tomato. And yeah. And then of course another round of shampoo. Now they are all quite far away. And yeah, that worked well. If you went really close to her neck where she rolled, you could still um, smell it. But you know, from the distance, you know, one meter away, she was okay. Oh, yeah. Interesting, there is no other dogs, which is. Hopefully Lilsis doesn't plan to release her, that so that she, Lisa would run towards me. And in that moment we have another dog on the field. Or a bunny. Or something. Or a cat. Yeah. Or most likely field mice. Yeah. So, let's continue, and they are running together. So yeah, today Lisa is feeling okay. Yesterday, in the af during the afternoon walk, I saw that she was limping a little bit on her front left paw still trying to remove the head color from time to time. Brita Lizzy. But you know then uh, we checked her um, between the you know bottom of her soles and it was okay, you know no cuts or anything, no visible visible injuries. Brita Lisa So and then of course she got a little bit of massage. Ja pridna. Ne. Ne. Kočin si se pa valala? Nekaj še ima smrček. Samo luknoje. Di njih je? Miške. Miške, ok. Kje si zdaj tu? So je, but apparently no, it was, let's say, perhaps minor sprain or just, you know, a little bit of Let's say a hit to her muscle, but yeah. Today, as you can see, she's doing okay. I don't see any limping like we saw yesterday. And there is a dog, and we will see. Okay, let's end on this point. Yeah, Lisa was okay, no aggression. She just wanted to sniff that hound, but uh, the other female was a little bit um, afraid of Lisa. So she basically yelped and ran away when they came close. So, yeah, as I said before, I don't like to film uh, when meeting unfamiliar dogs or some breeds uh, so that you know I can react react properly yeah so yeah let's end on this point